Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sandusky District Library's virtual story time. We're on week four. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Welcome, welcome everyone. I am so glad you're here this week. This week we are traveling to the ocean. So we need to leave the savanna and the elephant and head to the ocean. Are you ready? Okay, so on the count of three, we need to change. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, there's a fish. Okay, now that we're in the ocean, let's share some stories that are in the ocean as well. Okay, so my first story I'm going to share with you today is called Don't Worry Little Crab by Chris Houghton. Little crab and very big crab live in a tiny tide pool. Today they're off to the ocean. This is going to be so great, says little crab. They go tick a tick, tick a tick over the rocks. Splish, splash, splish, splash across the pools and squelch, squelch, squelch through the slimy, slippery seaweed. I can go anywhere, says Little Crab. Finally, they're to the very edge. Here we are, says Very Big Crab. The ocean. Oh, says Little Crab. Maybe it's better if we don't go in the ocean, says Little Crab. Don't worry, says Very Big Crab. It will be okay. But the waves are getting bigger. Look, a huge wave. Hold tight. Here it comes. Whoosh. I think we've had enough of the ocean now, says Little Crab. Let's just go a little bit farther, says Very Big Crab. I think you'll like it. But the waves can keep getting bigger and bigger. Another one, hold tight, here it comes. Whoosh. I don't think I like the ocean, says Little Crab. Maybe we should go home. Don't worry, Little Crab, says Very Big Crab. I am here. Come, just a few more steps. Little crab takes a step, then another, until I'm in the ocean, says little crab. Says little, little. But then they see an enormous wave. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Ready, yes, very big crab? Little crab nods. They take a deep breath. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoosh! You see them? Down, down, down they go. Look, little crab. Everyone comes to say hello. My name is Little Crab, says Little Crab. They eat delicious seaweed. They run all across the sea floor, and they have a giant game of hide and seek. I love the ocean, says Little Crab. Yes, but it's time to go home now, says Very Big Crab. 
What? I really don't want to go home, says Little Crab. Well, how about we go the long way home, says Very Big Crab. Can we go up this way, asks Little Crab. I think you can go anywhere, says Very Big Crab. And off they went. The end. Okay. Story time, friends. That was our first book that I'm sharing with you today. And in your story time craft kits, and we still have some available. So please stop by the library and pick up yours today. Um, we are doing jellyfish. So you should have in your story time kit a bag like this. And inside it, there should be some ribbon, a bowl, and lots of little construction pieces, lots of different colors. And best part, a couple of googly eyes. Okay, so with that, you are gonna, oh, making a mess over here. You are gonna first take your bowl and dump out all your supplies that are in it. And you have this bowl. You're gonna flip it so it's facing this way. And you're gonna take um, some glue or tape and you're going to glue your construction pieces all around the bowl. Okay, so however, however you want to put them, whatever pattern you want to do, you're just going to glue them all over. And then you're going to take all your colorful ribbon, and you're going to glue or tape, or maybe both, those, in, oh, those inside your bowl, like so, so that they hang out. Okay, and then the Next step is you're going to take those googly eyes and you're going to glue them on the front of your bowl like so. And then you're going to have one small piece of ribbon or make sure you leave one piece open. Um, don't glue it to the bottom and you're going to glue it to the top of your bowl. And so then your finished product should be like so. You'll have lots of ribbon. You have your own little jellyfish. Lots of gluing this craft. Okay. Are you ready for the next story? Okay, my next story is called Little Count with Little Fish. And it's by Lucy Cousins. Okay. Count with with little fish. One. One little fish swimming in the sea. Two. Can you trace the number two with me? Get your finger out. Two twin fin fin fish as pretty as can be. Let's count them. One, two. Three. Ready to trace the number three? Start at the top, curve, curve. Three counting fish, one, two, three. Four, let's trace it, start at the top. We're gonna go down this way and then across and then we're gonna pick our finger back up and go down again. Four flying fish, flapping wild and free. Let's count the flying fish, one, two, Three, four, five. Start at this end, up, down, and then around. Five fat fish, splish, splash, splash. Ready? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six goes down and around. Six. Thin fish gone in a flash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, start it over here. Across and then down. Seven scary fish with sharp teeth to feed. All right, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight. Eight sh shy fish hiding in seaweed. Oh, I like to do the eight because the eight is fun. Ready? We're going to do round and then back up. All right, let's see if we can count them. They're kind of hiding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this last little fin, eight. Nine. Okay, ready? We're almost done. Down. Take your finger back up and around. Nine funny fish all turned upside down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Let's do ten. Down. Pick that finger back up and we're just going to do a big circle. Ten tiny fish swimming round and round. Are you ready to count them? It's a big number. All right, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fish. We did it. Hooray. How many fish have you found? Are you ready to count them? Let's count all the different fish. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve, thirty. There's so many. Lots of fish. Okay, boys and girls, that's my last story for today. I wanted to share with you a few of our brand new books here at the Sandusky District Library. Um, one of them is the new Disney Pixar movie, Luca. We have the book for um, a level three. So this is the story of Luca. Um, we also have this funny book that says cows. Cow says meow. Cows don't say meow, right? What do cows say? You're right, they say moo, but in this book, it says cow says meow. And then another one of my favorite new books that we have, it says definitely do not open this book. Definitely. I wonder what's in here that he doesn't want us to open. Okay, boys and girls, that's all I have for you this week. I am so glad to share some books with you. Next week, we are going to the prairies. Um, so I will see you back here next week. Are you ready? Tickle the stars, tickle your toes, turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time is over, so wave goodbye. Goodbye, my story time friends. I will see you next week.